what they want us to do here, they've given us a normal probability distribution. They've given us the mean, which is 10. We have the standard deviation, which is what here? Eight. And then they want us to determine the probability of X being less than 12. X being less than 12. So solution, remember the major thing here will be for us to standardize. We standardize. We are still working on it. So we standardize. So solution, so we want to standardize this. How do we standardize this? We'll come and talk of Z score. So our Z will be X minus mu divided by what here the standard deviation, divided by the standard deviation, which will be equal to X, X ladies and gentlemen, X ladies and gentlemen, here they are talking of less than 12, less than 12. So if you are a, a beginner in this, it will be very important for you to draw the normal distribution somewhere here so that it can guide you. Just come and draw our normal distribution, our normal distribution, which is fully defined by two parameters. We have the mean, the mean which is 10, and then we have the standard deviation here, which is eight. Remember, a normal probability distribution is normally defined fully by the mean, by the mean and the standard deviation, two parameters. So they're talking of uh, less than 12, so where is 12? 12, of course, is bigger than 10. If 12 is bigger than 10, 12 must be here. So less than 12, what do they want? They want the whole of this area, which is on the left-hand side, all of it, less than 12. Everything that is on the left-hand side here is less, is less, is less. So ladies and gentlemen, here we are, after we do this, after we've been able to master this, go ahead and standardize. So you can see your X value, any number that is on the X axis here, other than the mean, is our X. So like our X here is 12, minus the mean, the mean which happens to be 10, all over the standard deviation, which is eight. So could you kindly give me this figure? What is 12 minus 10? Whatever we get, ladies and gentlemen, we divide by eight. 12 minus 10 is two, is two. Two divided by eight, two divided by eight. Somebody I'm expecting you guys to give me an answer. Melissa gives me a figure of 0 0.25. Thank you and thank you very much. 0 0.25 is our Z score. Now, once you have the Z score, the next thing will be for you to read for us the entry. You read for us the Z or the probability which corresponds to this Z value. So go to your table there and read for us what we normally call the entry. So the entry, so the entry, the entry will be equal to what somebody read for us. Read for us, read for us. So I have my table with me here. So I have my table with me here. I hope you are able to see that table. I hope you are able to see that table. You can see on the column here, I have Z. So Z of 0 0.2, you can see Z of 0 0.2 is here, 0 0.2. But you see, I want 0 0.25. So where do I get this five from? So 0 0.25, I'll have to go all the way up to here. I can see this second decimal place. So 0 0.25, 0 0.25, this is the figure that I'm talk talking about. This is the figure that I'm talking about. So we have here 0 0.2, this is the 0 0.2 all the way to 0 0.25. So this column, the intersecting, intersecting figure. So I'm able to see 0 0.0987, 0 0.0987. So the entry here, the entry is 0 0.0987. We normally prefer four decimal places, 0 0.0987. What have I done? I've come to Z of 0 0.2 here. All the way up to, 0.25. So I'm able to see the intersecting figure. I can see the 0 0.05 here. So I'm able to see 0 0.0987 like that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, once I get that, and to imagine everybody was able to get that, 0 0.9. Is it 0 0.9 or 0 0.0? I uh, just check again. Check again. Check again. Check again. Is it 0 0.987 or 0 0.0987? Is 0 0.0987. Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, once I have this entry figure, remember our concept that the entry figure which you have read is the figure between 10 and 12. Is the figure between the two values that is subtracted here, between the two values that are subtracted there. 
But again, remember that they want us to give them the total shaded area. They want us to give them the total shaded area. Fortunately, I know that this half area is equivalent to 0.5, is equivalent to 0.5. And therefore, our probability, ladies and gentlemen, our probability of us getting a value which is less than 12, our probability, our probability here will be equal to the total shaded area will be equal to the total shaded area. So we'll talk of 0 0.0987 plus 0.5. Remember always, this half area is 0.5. Then this at the end of the day will end up giving us 0 0.5987. 0 0.5987, that is the answer. 0 0.5987. I'm so sure all of us would have gotten this clearly. Is that not the case? 